Hello everyone and welcome to It Steals, a survival horror game in which we're tasked with surviving in a labyrinth against some unknown monstrosities, but there's a little bit of a twist. It is not going to explain to us how to do that, and much like the protagonist of a horror movie, it'll be up to us through trial, error, and probably a whole lot of fatal mistakes to figure out how these things even work. And the idea, I guess, is to go from that terrified character who dies in the opening minutes to the awesome Ellen Ripley type who gets to survive through all the sequels, at least until she decides she's sick of it and demands that they kill her character off. Whatever, I'm just gonna get started. They abandoned the old labyrinth. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you can't just show that for two seconds and then not explain what it means. Uh, we've got that pixelated look, huh? I got away from those faux PS1 games for a little while, but it seems like we're back. Oh my god, it's like scary 3D Pac-Man. What are these? 13... Okay, so if I grab this other one and it says 12, ah, I see, I have to collect them all. And I imagine that will enable me to maybe unlock some kind of door or something? Oh no, we're playing Slender the Eight Pages. Let's try that radar. Oh, I see. So it kind of, in a limited way, shows us where our next objectives will be. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What's, what's that, 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 what's that? Uh, okay, I guess I didn't die. That's good, right? Not dying's good. I'm doing pretty well for a cold open victim. The textures are the same on every surface. The walls, floor, ceiling. It's... Stop that. Don't do that to me. Uh, it kind of reminds me of those early 3D PC games. No, no, no! Okay, I guess neither of those times counted as killing me, but... Wait. Oh, pressing E zooms in. Uh, but I can't seem to... Oh! I can press click to smack. Maybe I shouldn't be knocking on this door. It sounds like there's something crunching on the other side. What just happened? Oh, this is the part I'm going to hate. The part where I'm confused and have no idea what's going on. Okay, so at least getting caught is not an instant death, right? Uh, maybe I spent too long in one place. Maybe that's what happened. Let's check the radar to find out what's going on. Yeah, one thing that's a little bit concerning is the fact that it takes a second for it to turn on. I can't use it in a pinch. I've got to use it to prepare beforehand. No, 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 running, 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 running. Oh, it really is just scary Pac-Man. Oh, who am I kidding? Pac-Man is scary Pac-Man. Nope, nope, nope. Just keep, just keep hitting corners. Just keep hitting corners. Just keep hitting corners so it can't follow me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Running is dangerous. What do you mean running is dangerous? Okay, so I've got one command telling me to run and another telling me running is dangerous. Uh, does that mean that the monster itself is, is like screwing with me somehow? Like maybe, uh, I, I don't know, maybe it's trying to deliberately mislead me? Uh, can we read these writings on the walls? Uh, kinda. This is, no! I think I'm dead, got you, yeah. Okay, so maybe if I get hit three times. All right, back in. Another doomed soul enters the maze. What is the purpose of the door knocking mechanic? Hey, search warrant. I can't hear anything on the other side of this one. 
maybe it's also like slender in that things will only trigger at certain points in terms of me collecting these it said running is dangerous can i trust that because the whole point of this game is that there's no real tutorial so anytime it attempts to tutorialize me i probably can't take that at face value Also, I wonder if the monster will respond to me knocking on that door. I was actually kind of thinking maybe I can pound on those doors as some kind of distraction mechanic. Hit one and then run off so that it'll be in, in a different part of the maze than the one I'm trying to get to. Really convenient being able to hear these things. No, no. Stop that. Another one over here. Uh, but is running dangerous or not? Behind you? Yeah, yeah. I saw that in an angle. You can't fool me. Those kinds of scares never work when you can see it from a different angle. It's only when they force you down a narrow corridor. Where are you at, thing? Oh, it's the sound of the fan. That's what scared me. I'm really not sure how to avoid this thing. I still haven't pieced together when it comes. Maybe there's something I do that triggers it? No! Yeah, maybe running really is dangerous. There you are. I saw you down there. Yeah! Run, 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 run. Actually, maybe I shouldn't run. Maybe I shouldn't run. Maybe I shouldn't run. Maybe I shouldn't run. I'm gonna get got. 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 Ow. I always win. Yep, you sure do. Okay, so running is dangerous and not running is dangerous. New guide unlocked. How to play. You can go here for guidance, which will make the game easier to play. Guides will be unlocked for each mode after you die at least two times. Okay. Uh, do I want this, though? Collect all the orbs, use the radar to find them. Watch your back. Shining your light will scare it away. Okay, I, I don't want to read the rest of that. I want to figure it out on my own. Okay, so shining my light makes it scared, but does that also apply, then, to the areas where there's a light beaming down from the ceiling? And with the sound of the fans, it certainly wants me to take notice of them. Okay, we're doing SCP science now, in which the D-Class are also the researchers. Kind of dig that idea. Ah, jack-o'-lantern. Does your light count? I'm really curious to know, when games have these graphics, like, what the technique is. Like, I don't think it's actually displaying in a much lower resolution. Is it just, like, creating what would otherwise look like a normal 3D environment and then just, like, passing it through some kind of filter? Like, I, I would imagine... I... Ah, uh, so when our light starts to flicker, uh, we should start looking around. Maybe that's a thing. When our light starts to flicker, that's when it grows the confidence to come after us. Okay, we can't ignore any aspect of the experience, then. If something as simple as our light flickering can have an impact on gameplay, then we've got to look at every little thing. Leave no stone unturned. Still yet to figure out what to do with these doors, though. I can hear one on the other side of these walls. See, the thing is, even though I know I can check the radar, I'm so... so paranoid to do it because it takes a second to bring it up. Also, I'm kind of wanting it to hi. No, 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 no. Oh. This is one case where wedging ourselves in a corner can be to our benefit. Now the question is, are there benefits to the light trick? 
For example, if I'm standing here pointing it and I check my radar, will it still... Yep, go away. Get out of here. Go on now. That's actually quite a major weakness for this guy. And it's, it seems like this guy is just going to be about remaining on alert. But I'm so curious to know if these actually work. What? Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Okay, never mind. Uh, they don't work, 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 they don't work. Okay, so there are times when we do have to run. This isn't the... This flashlight isn't the be-all, end-all of monster cures. Alright, what are you? How many of you have I gotten so far? There's four left. I imagine you'll start coming after me more frequently the more of these I collect. Ugh. Another question is, do you spawn and despawn? Or are you just always around me in some capacity? Alright, so 200. No, that is, a, that is a lie. That is a lie. You are a liar and a cheat game. Which is why I didn't trust it before when it said run. I'm um, just back here. Uh, the next thing is going to be on the opposite corner of the place. I don't think it's randomly generated, though, because I am seeing a lot of familiar structures between playthroughs. It's definitely a maze, but it's not going to piss me off by being completely different every time, uh, which means the difficulty isn't randomized as well. Yeah, ow, ah. He came up on me so quickly. I actually don't know how to counter that because, like, should I just be, like, looking around constantly? How slowly do you creep up on me? Also, I think I might only get two hits now I'm thinking about it. Only one left. I don't think that's right, though. Okay, so that's, that's going to be a reflex thing. I'll hear it coming, but I have to quickly turn around. Uh, once again... It's a whole building away. This is only the beginning. Okay, I can press E to zoom. Why are you telling me this now? And also, if I die, do I have to do all that again? Or there is no way out? All right. Am I dealing with a different monster now? There is only... what? Pizza? Further in. Oh. Uh, I was close. Hey! Okay! Achievement unlocked. You've not seen the end of me. Beat classic mode. Oh, I see. Okay, so judging by the store page, I'm pretty sure each mode is a different monster, and from each one we'll have to learn the rules. I'm not going to check the guides anymore unless I get stuck. Because I feel like that kind of defeats the whole purpose. Now it says all five game modes vary in difficulty from easy to severe. If you want, you can unlock all the modes in the options menu. This will not unlock the stars. Okay, uh, the next up is Shutter Mode. I was expecting a description, but eh, descriptions are kind of against the rules. You see checkers under your eyelids. Click to flash R to check the radar. Don't run out of batteries. Ah, so this one's more of a battery management type mechanic. Ugh. 
Oh, now I have to scare you away using the flash. It's also pretty much the only way I can see. I can't afford to use them at this rate, can I? Are these batteries? No. Get out of here, yo! Uh, did I run out of batteries? And also, if I run out, do I just instantly die? Hang on, wait, let's check that. You hear giggling down the hall. Alright, click, 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 clickety-clack. Clickety-clack. Clickety-clack, I'm shooting sports photography here. Yep, you'll instantly come for me. You will instantly come for me when you know that I'm out of batteries. You guide unlocked? I don't want a guide. I'm having fun. This is really cool. Alright, so our spawn location is certainly randomized. Get out of here. Ah, oh, it's so dark. Is running a no-no still? That's another question. Are these are, are these problems additive, or is it different in each game mode? Uh, get out of here. Oh, I do not like how quickly it runs up on you. I, I really hope this doesn't just become like a reflex fest. Because I do like having to learn the rules. I haven't figured out a way to pick up any more batteries, unless it's filling them up when I pick up the blue things and I just didn't notice. Uh, that would mean that the battery indicator is basically my... Health bar. Get out of here. Oh, it freezes you for a time when you're chasing me. Ow, come on! That is so stupid, I couldn't even react to that. <laughs> that actually legitimately is scary. I, I do like how quickly they tear out of there, how quick those interactions are. Out! Oh, come on! You're in the other room! There goes my theory that it always comes from... Oh. Come on. So, okay, so it doesn't... You can't keep it stun-locked. Oh, no, it's going to do the thing. Okay, so the idea is you gotta run as far away as possible and then hit him. I'm gonna go down this way. Should only be like one left. We're so close. We're so close, you're not gonna screw this up for me now. Oh, come on. Right there, but we're due for another hit. Nope! Oh. <laughs> uh, you almost got me, bud. <laughs> Best friends forever. I'll always treasure these memories. Huh. Oh, okay, so we beat that mode. Uh, that, was, that was tough. I, I feel like it came a little bit, bit too much down to reflexes. But it did admittedly make for some pretty scary interactions. I mean, I'm sure if you got used to the layout of the map, you could kind of plan your route better. Uh, but that was really difficult, especially for those times when it was going to come running up behind me. Uh, that, that really did just come down to a matter of how fast can I whip the mouse, because it's basically instantaneous. 
uh, from the time you hear it running to the time you have to hit it. Now, let's see what the next mode is. Hide and seek. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound good for me. But then again, what does these days? F to disable light. Control to crouch. Oh, uh, I think I already have an idea of what I need to do. My speculation right now is that when I encounter my friend... Oh, there's a lot of these to find. Ew! Uh, yep, you got me. Dude, if you do that again, I'm gonna punch you. I'm not kidding. Oh, never mind. Now you got me. <laughs> Alright. So, I have to find it. Or rather, I don't want to find it. But should I find it, it'll be it. And then it'll count, and I have to hide. Uh, which presumably I have to do by finding a dark corner, shutting off my light, crouching, and hoping for the best. Oh, it, it said uh, in the loading screen it likes spectators. Oh, well, that's good, because I'm giving it a couple thousand spectators right now. Now, the good news about this is that this is slightly less of a proactive threat. Uh, if anything, I'm my own worst enemy here. I saw it. Okay, so let's make a note of where it is. It's right around that corner. Thank you, map. You're a very incomplete map. You, you're really only good for showing me general directions of orbs. But if I'm correct, as long as I don't, you know, happen to stumble upon that guy, I should be okay. Right? Although it does class this as a higher tier... Oh, no. I think there's more than one. Uh, those white lines on the ground in this low-resolution style can actually look like one of those things crouching over. Oh, no. You're forcing me to use the light, are you? Oh, I have to find so many of these things. Oh, no. Are you guys moving around? Are you guys moving around? You have to tell me if you are. It's in the Constitution. <laughs> this really is just like, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Gotta try not to look directly at them. Hey, boop. Hey, boop. Hey, boop. And hey, boop. Five left. Uh, let's get an idea of where we're going. Okay. This way first. I really appreciate these glows doing a lot to help me out here. But I really fear these open spaces where I might catch a glimpse of one of these things. I haven't seen any hint that they can hunt me proactively, but I'm kind of trying to be ready for anything. I also kind of suspect that they're moving around a little bit, but I can't prove it. I keep thinking I'm heading in the right direction, and I'm just not... Ah! No, no, no. No, come on, I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm so close. Oh, are you going to be up forever? If you're going to be up until you find me, then that basically means that I, I might as well... I might as well just quit if one of you is spotted by me, right? Oh, now there's an inversion. Really throwing the typical horror tropes on their head. You're gonna find me now. You're gonna find me, yep. 
Can I run? Oh, I do have the opportunity to run, right? 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 Is there some kind of base that I have to make it back to? How about crate? Oh, I guess you're gone now. Hmm. I'm, I'm very confused, but I'm going to take that as a win. I'm just going to take that as a win. I'm not even going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm just going to accept it and move on. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Can you hear another orb? Uh, it's always so close yet so far with these things. On the other side of that wall, but I don't know how to get over there. I mean, what constitutes a good hiding spot? What constitutes base? I feel like that'll be the most important thing. I keep ending up on, like, the opposite side of this orb. I gotta move slowly, methodically, and carefully, like I'm playing Ready or Not or something. It's just, it's, it's even okay if I see them. It's just not okay if I see them directly in the center of my screen and for too long. I don't believe they make any kind of sound to indicate that I'm getting close either. And I still haven't determined what the purpose of these doors is. I can knock on them, but what does that do for me? Or, more importantly, does it do something different in each mode? I can see the light. Was that the last one? It's been fun. Okay, I could just not look at you. I could just not look at you. I don't feel like that would have counted as me looking at you in normal gameplay. I guess that means I won. I got the achievement, won't you play? Beat hide and seek. Okay, so I did win. That was quite ambiguous. I am burning through this game. Living halls. All right. Press space to aim the sensor, point it towards uncertain corners. When in sight, they don't bite. Hmm. Can I interact with this? Huh. I don't only have to figure out how these monsters work. I have to figure out how my gear works for this part. So depending on what angle I'm facing, the display will light up green. Which actually projects something of a glow around me. But what does it mean? And also, what is this counting down to? Does that mean I have two minutes to solve the level, whatever it is? Is it like a warmer, colder type thing? Oh, yes it is! Hmm. But I can't escape. I have that opportunity. Oh, I get it. It's a timed course in which I have to slowly make my way through because... because I just don't know where these things are going to be until I'm right up on them. Oh, we're still doing this. Okay. If I have to do this in two minutes, that's going to really be hard for me, isn't it? Oop, and I'm dead. Keep us in sight. 
Point the sensor, and if danger is ahead, it'll grow. It'll glow green. We already figured that out. Use the radar to find home. Okay. Uh, so those green boxed areas will most likely count as home. And if we step inside... Oh, I was kind of expecting the timer to reset when I stepped inside. Or maybe we still can. Nope. But I can probably run in here and close the door if something's chasing me, right? Alright, let's do an experiment, because I kind of suspect that once this timer runs out, they'll start chasing me, and I'll have to run for home and close the door, right? Let's see what happens in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There goes my light. Oh, I'm scared. Close the door. So what happens now? <laughs> Why am I even leaving? I've got a nice vault, concrete walls, all the books I can read, and a nice little lamp to sit under. Yeah, it's even got Christmas lights. Well, off to my death. Oh, but it resets. So I'll always want to be aware of where the nearest safe zone is. Hmm, I just ran right by that one and it didn't really matter. Uh, where's... how do I enter this safe zone? It's right here. No, apparently it's not. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, now the light only turns on once I get inside. Almost thought it would be a fake one. I'd turn around and all kinds of things would be right behind me. Ah, so the timer does restart at a certain point regardless of whether I open the door. Alright, should be another blue thingy right around the corner from me. This is doable, it is just a matter of taking time, planning my trips, and being cautious. That's it. Caution is the name of the game. It's See, there's a bit of a trade-off here in that we can't really see with our flashlight ahead of us uh, if we're using the sensor, but the sensor tells us what's ahead. So in that way, it's a good mechanic because it keeps us, you know, having to choose whether we're eyes whether our eyes are glued to the sensor or our own screen. Oh, there's not a lot of time. Is there a safe house near? Uh, there is, if we make a hurry for it. No, 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 Now, the question is, does running attract them? And also, do these green lights mean we're getting closer? I think they do. Okay. And right here. Uh, I think with ten seconds left, yeah, it makes perfect sense to wait it out here. Oh, I like this game mode. See, this one is about learning the rules. It's not just about having fast reflexes, which I absolutely do not. Yeah, it says here, when your time runs out, the vault is your only hope. The mechanics of this one were a little more obvious. I also gotta remember to pay attention to when the countdown resets. I got it in my head early on that, like, it resets when you leave, just out of my own assumption, and for some reason my brain just thinks that that's how it is. Okay, a whole bunch of them in this hallway. Nope, 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 nope. It's freaking out, man. It's freaking out. There's one very close. I think you're down that way. So I should be okay doing this, right? Pretty scattered. I, I think doing this is going to take me more back towards the original one. No! 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 No!
no, 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 no. I think I triggered two of them. I think I triggered two of them. No! Run, 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 run. Okay, I lost him. That's good, right? Uh, well, that's one hit on me, unless it didn't count, because it's not showing on my screen as damage. Uh, but I'm so far from anything. How much time do I have? 30 seconds. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I think I'm dead. Nope. No, 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 Okay, so running is, uh, running is still not good. You're over there. Oh my god! Oh, there's nothing I can do. Except survive, I guess. Uh, I just realized when you're inside, it'll run down the timer more quickly. So if you have like, you know, like 40 seconds left or something like that, you don't have to wait the full 40 to get out. See, sometimes you have to walk right towards a danger indicator anyway. Like, sometimes the sensor is telling me not to do something, and there's just nothing I can, well, do about it. If we get to the right, we should be able to find... You! Hello? Okay, so more of our stuff is more, like, in the middle of the maze now. Hello, there's more to this one. Ah, it's a complete map of the place. Unfortunately, that doesn't really help me. Also, my light does not work back there. Or at all anymore. Ugh. Uh, that's great, because the door is locked. Uh, how about I just stay here instead? So much to explore. Uh, well, maybe not that much, but uh, still, it's a good bit roomier than the other ones. Uh, no books, though. Unless there's some in these crates. Now it says, when in sight, they don't bite. I've still yet to determine what that means, because I've certainly seen them come rushing towards me. It's not like a Weeping Angels type situation, at least I don't think so. Definitely gonna take another shelter. Even though I have plenty of time left, I'm gonna stay here again, back with my precious books. Uh, so we can come out for another thing. I, I do sorta like this mechanic, how it's kinda, it's kinda like having to stop and take a breath of air every once in a while. Although these things are a little few and far between. There we go. I've noticed that it's not always the same amount of time before it resets. That's kind of interesting. All right, but I think a lot of them we can get by just progressing straight forward. I hate these times where I just have to push up against the warnings. I'm trying it again because I, I kind of want an opportunity to test if staring them down does actually stop them. I mean, I haven't really tried it, but I feel like I've also seen them pretty much every time they've killed me. I know there's one right around that corner, right between these walls here. There's one right there. I'm kind of relying on their legs kind of glitching out from around corners more than the radar. Because so often I have to ignore it in order to get to where I'm going. Also, kind of cool how the hand has pretty smooth idle animations given the rest of the graphics.
All right, now I'm kind of starting to get the hang of certain things once I see landmarks, so I know that that's there, which means there should be a left turn in this wall somewhere past these shelves uh, that leads us to this safe house, yeah. There we are. 43 seconds to spare. Yeah, I think the fact that it's a maze makes the whole thing feel a lot bigger than it is. What do you mean? Okay, thank you. That's a nice, uh, clever little scare, making use of the interface. There we are. I always feel like I'm so far from these vaults until I have one in my sight. Grabbed you. I gotta start thinking. I think the last ones are gonna be up in that direction somewhere. And trying to maintain an internal compass is critical here. No! Stop! Okay, there we go. Oh, I get it. Oh, I can't believe this is my first time realizing it, but they literally are the walls. I never got to see them long enough to figure that out, but... Yeah. Ah, huh, so if I just kind of watch them as I pass, then that'll work. Oh, unless you decided to do that. How have I gotten this far without realizing you can do that? So there is a downside to crossing your path in any case, and also my light is getting very, very dim. Why does that remind me of like a Five Nights at Freddy's type of noise? No, okay, you can't just completely kill my light. That's not fair. Oh, I'm out of time. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, you can't just do that. Waiting here and we're figuring out a new strategy. Did I even get that one? What do you mean? What do you mean? Can I only use these once? Well, I'm dead. Yeah, okay, this is gonna be the point where I give up on this then. Yep. That is the last straw. One, yep. Died with one left. That's the last straw. I'm actually doing a pretty good job surviving all this, aren't I? That's been way longer than they probably want me to. The Phantom. Stay quiet. It can't see you either. Press space to hold your breath. Click to place a device. Hmm. Click to place a device. Oh, I get it. No, hang, hang on. Can I pick that up? It's making noise, so it's meant as a lure. So if I wait, will it appear there? Oh no, it only just started. Let's wait. Let's wait and watch and see what happens. <laughs> oh, hello. And I'm dead. Okay. I'm not quite sure what happened there. I imagine it killed me because I wasn't holding my breath, but... Uh, 
Uh, I see. I know you're around when you come through with the physics props. And I've got to hold my breath when you run through. The physics will be my guide. Now, I'm assuming, though, that my... I'm assuming that my footsteps probably attract you as well, right? Maybe things that make sounds like these, uh, like these TVs can actually help to hide me. Oh, this is a cool mechanic. This is really cool. I don't know if I'll be able to beat it, but it's pretty cool. Oh, come on. So if that happens, I'm dead. So what if I'm in an area where there's nothing for it to knock around? There was nothing really in the hall behind me. Oh no, that's definitely going to draw something, right? question is, what point does it have to be at in order for it to see me? Hi. Drop that. Yeah, it didn't matter. Alright, we need to learn about these devices. That's got to be the key. I had assumed they were, like, a lure, but maybe there's something else to them? Okay, so, like, what is it doing right now? Okay, I guess it didn't like whatever that was. If that's something that I have to charge up, then that seems way, way too slow to use if it catches me. This mechanic is so cool, but man, this game mode is annoying. I mean, I think that's kind of the intrinsic problem that I have with this game, is that dying repeatedly, like, it just loses the scare factor. This could be a really, really cool mechanic in a standalone game, but here, where you're having to redo it over and over again... Like, it's just not scary anymore. It's just like every time the thing comes around, it's just like, oh my god. And that's how it was for the previous one as well. <gasps> See, I think the big flaw with this whole experience is that, I mean, I came in here expecting to die a lot, to die over and over in a way to kind of learn what I'm supposed to be doing through trial and error and learning the rules of the game. And I found that to be a really cool concept. The problem is that each time so far, I've had a really easy time learning what the rules are, and then such a hard time actually applying it. And so that means that each time I play, I don't have the satisfaction of, you know, kind of bringing in something new and applying new knowledge each time. It's just an exercise in frustration trying to get what I've learned to finally work. And also, I just inherently don't like maze games. I mean, it's so tedious just having to go through collecting things, looking at the same environments over and over again. Uh, it's the same reason I didn't really like Slender. You know, years ago when that was, like, becoming a big craze, I was like, 
okay, so it's walking around waiting for a jump scare and then you get annoyed that you have to do it all over again? And that's kind of the same vibe that I'm having here. Of course, I will give credit where credit is due. This game is doing a lot more creatively than Slender ever did. Particularly with this one right here. I think this is a really, really cool mechanic, idea-wise. I mean, I realize that what I have to do when it appears is I have to place the device. I don't even think it needs to touch the device. I think it just needs to reach its full charge while it's chasing me. I think that's all I need, but I I've tried that like every time and I've yet to succeed in actually escaping for that long. Yeah, this clutter is also becoming a problem. The halls are getting so clogged, there's some areas I can't move through at all. I assume it also responds to the sound of me knocking things over. I must say, it is very dream logic-y. Having to make my way through the space, come on. And see, now once the floors are so cluttered, it makes it harder to run, too. Nope. 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 I'm dead. 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 Okay, so even the device charging up doesn't immediately get rid of it. You still have to run it back over the thing. Okay, well, we uh, successfully managed to do that once by the end of the video, at least. So that was It Steals, and it was okay. But I don't really feel like it lives up to its premise. And in the end, I did come away with more criticisms than praises. Now, to start with the praises, though, because they are strong ones, there is a lot of variety in its mechanics. I mean, each mode truly does feel different. And they were all kind of mechanics that I hadn't really seen before, uh, particularly with the last one. Now, some of them had been done in some capacity before, but not really to the same extent. And even the ones that I'd seen were kind of done in a different way. Like, for example, there's a lot of games now where you have to look at an enemy so that it can't chase you. But this is the first time I've seen it where you actually have to hold them in your flashlight beam in order to get them to scurry away as they sneak up on you. And that concept was taken even further by having the walls themselves actually be kind of red light, green light enemies. Now, because the mechanics are so different, I guess instead of trying to give it all in closing, I'll just open the mode menu and kind of talk about each one as I think of them. So the first was classic mode, pretty basic, but I think that was the point. It kind of allowed you to dip your toes into the water of the gameplay of kind of having to learn how things work. And it does that by introducing just one or two very basic mechanics. And you know, now that I think about it, that's actually a really good idea because when you know it's chasing you, and you'll always know because you'll hear the sound behind you, your instinct is going to be to run, but you can't do that. It's only when you overcome your instinct and actually think to look at it that you'll gain the knowledge that you need to finish it. Like I said, really simple, but that's the idea. Now, the second one was shutter mode. I think this one was my favorite. It annoyed me a little bit with, you know, how you had to be really, really quick on your reflexes, and sometimes, depending on where you were standing, you didn't have any chance at all. But I really like the idea of having to be, like, quick on the trigger when it was rushing at you. And because of how dark the level was, you know, you would have these situations where you're pretty sure it's in that direction. And only in that brief flash, you would see just how close it was to you. Now, sometimes you just see it scurry around the corner, which is pretty creepy all its own. But it's even scarier when the thing is right in your face after you flash it. Uh, that that was pretty cool, and for that reason, I think it's my favorite. Uh, third up was Hide and Seek. I didn't care for this one, mainly because this is the only one on this list that I think has the problem of being too easy. 
Now there was that hide and seek mechanic, which I, I only encountered once where they were chasing me, or it happened twice. I just died immediately the first time. And then the second time I was able to survive. And I never really did it enough to understand how exactly it worked. Because eventually I ran away and I just kind of hid in a corner and it went away after a while, but also it hunted for like a pretty long time. And I think at one point it actually stopped and then started again, so I, I don't know what was going on there. But I feel like the whole thing could pretty much be beaten just by seeing them and having the fortitude to not look directly at them. So I feel like, I don't know, it, it was too easy for its own good because you didn't actually have to learn the rules. I feel like the problem is I just beat it too quickly. Now, the ones where I had problems were Living Halls and The Phantom. And it's where I think we started to see the main weakness of the game, which isn't actually in these game modes themselves, I think. I think the mechanics are actually fine the way they are. The problem is that... Now, part of it is me. I just intrinsically hate finding stuff in a maze games. I've hated them ever since Slender, because the whole thing is, you know, you're just looking around, looking for lookables, and, you know, every once in a while you get a jump scare and you have to go back to the beginning. To me, having to constantly go back to the beginning, that's just tedious. That's just annoying. And especially in a maze, you're just seeing the same things over and over and over and over again. God, it gets old so quickly. You know, there are trial and error games that do this really well, but the point of those is that you learn a little bit each time and you do a little better each time. Here, you're going to reach a point where you know everything and you're still dying, and so there's nothing new to take with you into each new life. And finally was the Phantom. Same problem as Living Halls. Uh, a much more unique mechanic, though. You know, I, I really like the idea of, like, you know this thing is coming when you hear it rummaging around in other rooms. And it's not just a sound effect that's playing, it actually is everything in the other rooms being knocked over. And then having to hold your breath as it goes past, that's all really cool. You know, I, I could kind of appreciate the idea where it's just like a panicked, like, sprint for your life. The problem is, one, you have to kind of lead it back into it once it is charged, which, you know, that's kind of based on just chance because you have to blindly sprint around. And two, it, it becomes so cluttered that, you know, it relies on random chance if you'll even be able to get through the one hallway you have to run down. Now, I can appreciate don't think, just run segments. And the map actually kind of lends itself to it, except for the dynamic clutter that gets thrown around, which the creator can't really account for. I think you could improve this a lot by taking it out of the Easter egg hunt in a maze gameplay, and actually kind of giving each of these their own sort of unique story and progression. Like, not just have each one be to collect the orbs, but maybe, like, you know, have some other method of progression in each one. Like, imagine if each one had a different map that had a certain progression to them, where each area that you entered was kind of meant to put you in a different situation and teach you a different thing about the monster you were dealing with. And, you know, you'd go back to the beginning each time you died still, but, you know, you would enter each area kind of like thinking, Okay, did I figure out what it was last time? Yes? Okay, now I know how to get through this area. Or, did I figure out what it was? No, I actually didn't, so maybe I'll do this again, but try to die in a different way and hopefully learn a little bit more about it. I think that would have been better than just an Easter egg hunt. But anyway, if you liked this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to do that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. The Living Halls is still really bothering me. I actually went back after I played the Phantom and played some more of that, which will have spliced into that original segment. But God, it is bothering me that I had the one left. And I would have finished it if that stupid vault had sealed when I got into it. Ah. Anyway, the real end of the video is now, I guess.